Hi, this is Little Dwarf playing games while rambling incoherently into the microphone. Why? Well, just because I can, and I continue with Fallen Commander. Now I must pay attention to correctly send my units to the to one region instead of two. Although, you know what, I'll wait and amass some more armies before I... Yeah, I'll just... Abandoned, sick, and sick and injured. <laughs> Vultures need to eat too. Typical of Catherine to get miffed over money. I don't care what they pay me as long as I get to brawl and booze. Ah, right, the, the equal pay debacle. Apparently, uh, women about, uh, aboard uh, my ship are paid pay less than the men, uh, which is obviously idiotic and illegal in the real world, but then again, the whole pay gap uh, discussion in the real world is a little um, warped because um, people often misuse the data like they only tell you that pe that women in the same occupation earn less than men but they don't tell you the hours like obviously it is illegal in pretty much every developed country to pay women less for the exact same work but the thing is when you have general statistics and it only says the same occupation but it don't doesn't give you the details such as uh, you know, hours worked, shifts, uh, I don't know, experience, uh, credentials and whatever, uh, you get warped statistics. But um, in the way this game presents it, it's obviously like unjust to just pay the women less because they are women. So we'll, I will rectify that in a moment. When Catherine is out of sorts, there seems to be no escaping her ire, Commander. I do understand her, though. For whilst equality among the civilized races is not to be found, I do uphold that women are every bit as capable as men, provided they are lizards. <laughs> what a racist. Yikes, what a vixen. Can't dear old Kathy be happy with the wages she gets? Not like she has to cook or clean. Listen here, Commander. For I have a matter of great import that I should like to bring to your attention. In the realm I ruled, that rule was absolute, as was that of my vassals, women all, of course. We concerned ourselves with matters of mastery and the mind, men with all things menial, according to the natural order. Yeah, that's not really equality, is it, though? On this ship, however, I find myself trapped amid so many cocks of the walk, the one more swollen with self-importance than the next, only to discover these pompous windbags actually earn more wages than Scarlet, Prospera, or I do. If anyone, it is we of the superior sex who should sooner receive more silver and gold than those of the savage variety. You'll set right this iniquity, Commander, and you'll do it now. Yeah, as I said, it's not really, like, it's not really specified that they do the exact same hours worked and, uh, you know, have exact same responsibilities, but I assume they do, I assume that that's the point, that they want me to pay the same for the same job, which is obviously right and just, so I have no, I had no idea that men and women on my ship receive different salaries. You can calm down, I, I, calm down, I will fix this immediately. Good. So you should. And I hope this is the last of such nonsense I've had to deal with. OK, 
Okay, I have those mercenary cards. So maybe I have enough now. You know what, I'll just concentrate on this province over here. Because it's closer. This is... Oh, I can actually go into deficit. <laughs> Obviously the dwarves are against uh, that move because they're conservatives. Like really hardcore conservatives. I don't think real-world conservatives in, in de developed countries have any problems with yeah as you can see they gained levels as generals according to my decision commander the war is displacing a great many people and thus the influx of a great many foreigners into the realm is inevitable Many of them are driven to crime by want or ill will. To that effect, I propose that if a foreigner is found guilty of an offense, he or she should be deported immediately. Delinquency is on the rise, and we need a few effective deterrents to curb its proliferation. Yeah, now I don't think there's anything uh wrong in principle with that idea, because uh, I don't consider, like, I do consider that the, that the states have a right to protect their borders, and I don't think immigration is a right. I don't think you have any particular right to enter another country. It is a privilege that you are bestowed by that country's government. And when you visit another country, you are bound by the laws of the land, so when you break them, I don't think it's unreasonable for them to deport you because you're not a citizen of that country. You don't, they don't owe you anything. You've broken the laws and they have, to me, it's pretty reasonable uh, for them to don't want you there once you've broken the law. So I don't think there's anything particularly wrong with that idea. Foreign criminals seem to abound like sand on the beach these days, Commander. Let's be rid of them, like Falstaff suggests. In fact, the sea would be as good a border as any to make them cross. Yes, let them drown for their misdeeds. Okay, that's, a, that's pushing it too far, though. Many criminals inhabit our realm, Commander. Such is the unpleasant reality. Some of them are domestic, some of them are foreign. Punish them when they are caught, but do not make the distinction. And why not, though? Like, to me, the state has a, first and foremost, it has a duty towards its own citizens because they pay the taxes and, you know, they are, they can be, they can expect the government to, uh, first and foremost, uh, deal with their problems. And if you are a foreigner, foreigner and you enter the country, if you broke the law, I don't think it's unreasonable to deport you. Like, I, I don't think you have any particular right to stay in, in that country and even like maybe you do as long as you uh, as long as you obey the law but if, you, if you've broken the law I don't know why you should be allowed to stay I don't like what's the what's the justification for that it's not your uh, you're not the citizen of that country and the government doesn't owe you anything much much less the populace 
Commander, the war is displacing a great many people, and thus the influx mm, of... I talk, talked with him already. Oberon and I are of the same mind in this matter, Commander. Deportation just seems a bit excessive. Why, though? And I very much doubt it's the structural solution Sir Silvervain hopes it to be. Like, I assume, they didn't tell me, but I assume it's for, like, serious crimes, like murder or rape or something. I don't think we'll be deporting people for speeding tickets or whatever, but if you've murdered someone and you're not a citizen, you're an immigrant, then I, I'm not sure why the state shouldn't be allowed to deport you. No, 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 Commander. Falstaff has it all wrong. We imps force foreign convicts to do all sorts of dirty and dangerous jobs. Okay, that, that's probably Why illegal. When we can make them drudge. That's an interesting thought, but, but probably illegal. So, yeah, I will deport foreign criminals. Capital Commander, let others provide for this petty riffraff. We'll have none of them no more. Solves jail overcrowding, too. We're killing two burglar birds with one stone here. Wonderful. Let's organize ferries to Shark Point. Once deported there, there's <laughs> no the way any vermin will ever make it back to our seven blessed shores. I think you're setting a dangerous precedent, Commander. Associate foreign with criminal, and you'll give rise to all kinds of mischief. That's right, but that's not the point. I'm not associating foreign with criminals. We are talking with we are talking about actual criminals who happen to be foreigners. It's not that I like it's not that I'm deporting them uh, because I'm pretending they committed the crime. They did commit the crime and they are foreigners, so that's why I'm deporting them. Your call, commander. But don't come crying to me if vigilantes sprout like mushrooms and start dispensing their own unique brand of justice. I don't see uh, the point here, like, they could do that even if I didn't de deport them, like, obviously they're racist, they are, uh, there are nationalists within countries, so they could, uh, you know, uh, lynch people, foreigners, for committing crimes even if I didn't deport them. No, Presumably, even uh, me deporting them uh, makes it more difficult for the people to lynch them because they are no longer in the country. So I'm not sure what are we talking about. This is sheer folly, Commander. Now we'll have to use domestic scallywags to do all the nasty chores. That's like discrimination in reverse. <laughs> Okay, I can demolish this factory because I have one here. Mm. I'll buy another tavern because it gives mercenary cards and they are really useful. Isn't the dragon a foreigner too? Now that's a, that's a presumably, although like not in a, I guess I'm not because I was born from a root, like I'm of a different race, but I'm not of a different national, nationality because my father was the king, so that's... Okay, <laughs> genocide. <laughs> Your policies have the following consequences. <laughs> genocide. <laughs> Oberon is putting poof nuptials back on the agenda, is he? 
When will those blasted elves realize marriage is about procreation, not pleasure or passion? Can't these queers be happy with what they have? Used to shoot them on sight barely a century ago. Yeah, so the elves are putting uh, gay marriage on the, on the agenda. Commander, I intend to propose legislation later today that will make it possible for gay couples to be married. I know I'll get some pretty stiff opposition from Falstaff and especially Yorick. <laughs> so opposition. I'm hoping I can count on your support. Sir Falstaff raises some proper concerns about family values and the likes. But that holier-than-thou collection of bones will prattle on and on about gods and such nonsense. Nothing we can't handle. Seven wither Oberon's tongue for uttering such perversions. He and his depraved ilk would allow men and women to fornicate with others of their own gender. How base, how vile can one become? God save us from this debauchery. Yeah, as I said, pretty much everything the undead say is nonsense. Commander, could you spare me a moment? Now, I know I'm a general and politics isn't my field of expertise, but I was hoping you'd support Oberon in his attempts to allow marriage for people of the same sex. It's a pet peeve of mine, you see. Live and let live, I say. Why do others get to decide who someone may or may not love? None of their bloody beeswax. That's right. So much hypocrisy would be exposed for what it is, you know. Think of the famed lizard artist Della Gecko, for instance. Everybody knows he's gay, but he was forced to marry a duke's daughter. Two lives made miserable because of senseless so-called moral objections. The whole business is unconscionable if you stop and think about it. You convinced me I'll side with Abraham, although I didn't really need convincing. Thanks, Commander. You're a doll. I'd give you a kiss that'd blow your jetpack off if you weren't off limits. What a splendid victory that was. Your strategic insight almost rivals my own. Bloody good show, Commander. We kick butt today oh, and we firmly have an too. For a butt. <laughs> and she has. She has a pumpkin and a. I don't know, big tomato or something? Uh, stuffed down her bra for breast. <laughs> That's really funny. Damn it. No, not looking good in this here. I think I'll try to lead it myself, although I'm not at all skilled in... Uh, uh, in the real-time uh, fighting in this game, but I think it will give me an obvious advantage, so maybe I'll manage to actually win. Hey, bye.
be the man with the hammer soon. A drunk man's orders are a sober man's thoughts. It will be built in a jiffy. We're out of recruits, Commander. Anti-ground turret completed. Anti-ground turret completed. Be on guard, Commander. Enemy hunters are about to be deployed. Your unit will roll out momentarily, Commander. Unit is being manufactured, Commander. The enemy can build troopers now. I will drench their torn banner in blood. Ride. Won't that use too much fuel? Okay, I'm totally lost the about can now capture our buildings. how this thing works. I, as I said, I never really played much. I thought I could deploy the dragon immediately, but apparently I can't, so... Lost it. All is ours for the taking. Battle Forge completed. Enemy hunters can engage air targets now. Recruitment Citadel completed. Grenadier, fresh from the barracks! Yeah, I'm screwed. Pretty much. Your unit will soon be ready. I don't think even my dragon form can... Trooper ready to march! Not enough recruits to turn into a dragon, Commander. Not enough recruits to morph, Commander. Okay, so can I just forfeit the battle or something? I should have I tried the auto resolve. I had like 40% or something. I have no idea how this... <laughs> Emperor Blames lagging jetpack for latest loss. So, you're backing the fairies, are you? Both the elves and the other kind. Thin end of the wedge, if you ask me, Commander. They'll be marrying goats next. Oh yes, the famous slippery slope argument. Gay marriage is a reality. You've written history, Commander. Long have we elves fought for what we think is an example of basic equality. But never has a monarch given us his public support. Bravo! Commander, every citizen in the realm pays taxes. Every industry does the same. 
But which is the one institution that escapes the taxman? Way, the church, of course. Hardly fair, is it? So why not introduce a temple tax? Let every temple, church, and cathedral pay, say, a monthly fee as a token of goodwill toward the Empire. After all, does not the church benefit too from a strong and wealthy state? Yeah, that's an obviously good idea. Uh, as a liberal, I am very much opposed to giving any con particular concessions to churches, uh, uh, you know, that would distinguish them from any other uh, public organizations. I don't think they, would, they should have any tax cuts or anything. They should just work as, as every other uh, entity. I am a strong uh, supporter of the separation between church and state. Especially because in Poland, even though officially, mm, like uh, the state is supposed to be neutral uh, in its religious and um, sort of mor moral outlook, uh, the Catholic Church still really holds uh, very much sway and uh, has several, um, uh, like, has several concessions on the state level. So. Uh, I am very much in favor of taxing the church mm. and in fact I am also in favor of uh, of how it's done in, in Germany where the church uh, any churches but the Catholic Church obviously being the biggest doesn't receive any um, money from the government but rather it takes it straight from from the from the faithful you um, in the census, you declare your faith, and then you uh, you can pay you can, you can sort of mm, deliver a portion of your tax to support of a particular church that you've chosen. And you've, if you're not non-religious, then you can just choose a non-government charity organization or something. And that is a very good, uh, very good, uh, you know, idea because I don't think it's fair. To expect non-religious people and people of different uh, of, of a different religion to pay taxes that would go um, then contribute towards a particular church, for example, in Poland, uh, it would be the Catholic Church. Um, so yeah. When will that filthy dwarf finally pass a single day without resorting to sacrilege, base and vile? The Church of the Seven is holy above such secular concerns as taxes. If you want yet more gold for the royal coffers, you had better look elsewhere, Commander. And uh, the, the, the undead are, usu as usual, prattling nonsense. Introduce this new tax, Commander, and the Church will just demand more of the public in donations. So in the end, who will really pay? The man in the street, and they give more than their share already. That is a bullshit argument, because you are not forced to give donations to the church. If anything, that would expose the hypocrisy of the church and uh, lead more people away from it, which is a good thing, in my opinion. So, like, it is an it is a non-argument. Commander, uh, we've talked to the him Church already. of the Seven is one of the wealthiest organizations in Rivlon, Commander, and it's true they don't impart as much as tuppence to the treasury. So, full stuff is right. Hardly fair. Temple tax, what a marvelous idea. Take from the seven and give it to science. Falstaff's got it. Yeah, so I will impose taxes on the Church of the Seven. Marvelous, oh yes, excellent. I will take care of everything, Commander. A sacred river of gold will start flowing in before you know it. I am baffled beyond belief. The profanity here enacted is enough to anger the mildest of the gods. In fact, I'm much surprised a lightning bolt from the heavens hasn't yet torn the raven asunder. <laughs> when the dwarves come along with one of their schemes, everyone goes colorblind, it seems. They see only gold and care for gold only. The greater good, forgotten. What are you talking about? It is a good idea to tax the church because, well, it, it shouldn't... 
uh, be given any concessions other than any other organization and the people aren't forced to pay donations to the church so I don't see any problem here. Splendid! I'm certain any clergyman worth his salt will gladly part with some of his worldly means if doing so bodes well for the Empire. Wouldn't you agree, dear Yorick? Spot on, Commander, spot on. Tax him to kingdom come. You'll be doing him a favor. <laughs> Seven save us from the dragon, for where he goes, vice sprouts like infectious corruption. Disseminates like a poisonous contagion. Ghouls coveting not women as they should. Hags longing for anything but the male touch. Abhorrent is the hell you stage. Oh no, 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 I don't, didn't want to leave. Thanks again for passing that new marriage law, Commander. There are these two lizard girls I know, and they tied the knot the moment the news broke. What a feast we had! I don't remember any of it. Yeah, I'm actually, uh, like, I'm very, very much looking forward to the moment that same-sex marriage is legalized in Poland, not because I myself am gay, but because, one, obviously I consider it a human right for people to get married regardless what their sex is, as long as it's between two consenting adults that are, you know, with their full mental cap capabilities and they can decide for themselves. But two, I am also very much looking forward to the uh, to the butthurt it will cause among the far right in the country and the religious religious people. It will be you know glorious to to witness. Sometimes you have to take the good with the bad, Commander. Stiff up a lip, eh? When a man wins a battle, he is resolute. Lose, and he is feeble. Do both, however, and helplessness is his trade. One positive, two negatives. There we have our dragon commander. Who oh, shut up? Okay, but that leaves me in a bit of a pickle because. I think this force will be destroyed and I'll be... Yeah, it's a... Uh... Because I don't think I have any mercenary cards, cards at hand. It's a bit of a problem. Oh, they didn't attack. That's interesting. I hope you don't mind, Commander, but I've requested that a few of your generals should undo the havoc that has been caught by a group of lizard rebels. These misguided souls have taken to the teachings of a cult that worships the so-called One God, and they're causing no end of unrest where they dwell. I'm sure Henry and Edmund are the proper officers for the job, wouldn't you agree? They'll need to be diplomatic, though, if they seek to succeed. What's up, Commander? A dear old lady, our Prospera, but it saddens me to see senility is taking hold. She actually wants me to work together with that barrel of gin they call a general. It would be almost comical if it weren't so galling. Commander, a word in your ear. There seems to be a spot of trouble in one of the provinces. Some lizard rebel running amok. Not but a trifle that Prospera has requested us to deal with. But she wants me and Bloody Edmund to go together. Yes, he's a lizard too, it stands to reason. But the man's as pleasant as a cactus down your trousers. So if you don't mind, I'll go alone. I need my generals to be, work to be able to work together 
in a civilized manner and this is a good opportunity to practice. Practice? I'll be practicing Skittles with his balls before the day is out. You know that cold-blooded cretin annoys me to no end. I'll follow your orders, Commander. But we're supposed to quell an uprising, you know. Not add fuel to the fire. Okay, so I actually need to consider my... Yeah, I think if this province gets attacked, I'm a little rude. here as well as they have any armors it owns at least it doesn't look like it so it's useless to use that card the command just for a couple of more percent. Mm, damn it. What a pair Edmund and Henry make, Commander. Worry no longer. The insidious religion of the One God no longer tempts a single lizard in the realm. They either pay homage to the Seven, or have the good sense not to prattle on about gods at all. Never would I have expected the likes of Henry to wag such a silver tongue. There must be some brain cells left neath that simian cranium of his after all. Holding on for dear life, I expect. <laughs> We've returned from our mission, Commander. All's well among the lizards again. No more praise for the one god anymore, but proper prayer for the seven, or whatever floats their boat. I was hoping for at least some resistance so that I could spill a mite of their cold blood. But there was none to be had. Diplomacy, AKA idle chatter saved the day. Wasn't such a bad thing, looking back on it, that that serpent of an Edmund tagged along. Obviously, we were plotting each other's demise from the get-go, but when push came to shove, we both wanted to appear the greater general, forced us to bring our A-game. Long story short, the cultists renounced their evil ways and were accepted back into society. Boring as figs stew. But Prosper is over the moon. She can stay there for all I care. Yeah, I'm having a bit of a problem with my conquests on now. This is screwed. It's weird that they don't attack. Commander, 
You know we elves sometimes stuff our pipes with a few Drudeni leaves so as to experience its gentle, mind-altering effects. There are some that say its use should be outlawed, but I want to propose the exact opposite. Studies have shown this plant's medicinal use can do wonders to alleviate pain. So I think every doctor should be allowed to administer Drudeni like any other remedy. So it's basically the issue of uh, allowing the use of medicinal uh, medicinal use of marijuana, like it's a direct analogy. Uh, but then again, and I am obviously in favor of that, if it is proven scientifically that it can help people, then why not? But even if it, if, if it were just about recreational use, I would still be in favor because I think every person, every, every adult, uh, has a right to decide for their, like, on their own for, uh, about their life, you know. If they want to waste their life uh, by taking drugs, then why not? I don't particularly care. And even, like, obviously it's a problem if you have a public health system because, uh, public health care, because then um, all the people are burdened by the stupid decisions of a person who decides to destroy their lives, but I already voted against public health care, so if everybody uh, must be privately insured, then I don't think it's any business of the state if they decide to take drugs. Both in sickness and in health, we recognize the judgment of the gods, Commander, as we do in convalescence and death. Interfering by means of medicine is already a sin. Adding the use of vile narcotics to the equation merely aggravates the misdeed. Yeah, I don't think, like, I'll be surprised if there'll be a single instance in which I'll agree with the guy. What is it with the elves and their damnable love for hallucinogenic leaves? I've seen those who use it, sitting around with bloodshot eyes, talking gibberish. Medicinal! Malicious, more like! Maybe. I myself uh, have never taken drugs. Even if they were legal in Poland, I would still... Uh, I still wouldn't, because I'm not interested in that, but I don't see why it should be our concern, much less the state's concern, what adult people do with their lives. If they want to get addicted and die, then I don't... like... It's their problem, not mine. Especially um, because, like, in the real world, as I said, it would be complicated uh, in the area of what to do with the eventual treatment uh, if the healthcare is public, but in this setting, if I already voted down public healthcare, then if they want to cause themselves problems and then want to pay, uh, you know, the doctor to, to get help, then I don't see any problem with Commander. that. If Trudenai truly possesses the qualities attributed to it by Oberon, and under responsible medical supervision it may be used to alleviate pain, well then of course I support the elven bid. It is only logical. Yeah, I do agree on that point as well. Our studies show Oberon is correct, Commander. Especially... I'm sure, it took our researchers a very long time to write down their results, which they did in the weirdest of phrases, and for some reason they et and et and et. But one simply cannot dismiss their deductions. <laughs> okay, so it's it's uh, confirmed within the universe that it has medicinal per uh, properties. So yeah, I will allow the medicinal use of certain narcotics. Thank you, Commander. Drudenai really is a wonderful herb if used with care and consideration. Hopefully the bad reputation it suffers among the likes of Falstaff and Yorick will dwindle in time because of today's decision. Light those pipes, I say! If thou hast erred, let pain be thy penance, for it sweats the sin from your skin. So say the seven scriptures, Commander. Therefore it is truth. What could you possibly hope to achieve by denying the truth? The use of Drudenai is in itself a sickness, Commander, and can never be a cure. Patients will leave our clinics as addicts, destined for the gutter. The dragon makes for a fine doctor indeed. Very wise of you, Commander. Let us hope the use will not lead to abuse. In fact, let us not hope. Let us supervise. Ha! Well done! I'll be sure to inform our scientists their efforts were not in vain. I'll procure some Druid and I, 
couple of pastry chefs and bake them a cake that will blow their socks off. <laughs> okay, can maybe we have some upgrades? was long enough so I will save and see you in the next one. Bye.